hello everyone this is Brittany with redeemable junk and today I'm going to show you two different ways to use paper bags um, I seen somebody shared on my page um, this neat paper bag it was like opened up pockets so I decided to do a little bit of experimenting on my own and I figured two different ways to do this so the first way that you can do it and this usually will work better if you have a larger paper bag um, because it will open on the sides um, but then you don't really have much room to decorate but the way to do that is to take your paper bag okay so we have it like this and what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut straight down the straight down where it comes to a T at the top okay so we're just gonna cut straight across see if I can get my cut straight Okay, so what you have here, when you do that, let me move this out of the way, move this over here. It really needs cleaned up a little better. My cut wasn't the best. Let's see. This isn't the one I'm going to decorate because it is a little bit small. But what you have here, let me get into frame, is when you can decorate this on both sides. And then it opens up to a mini hidden spot. And it closes. You could put an eyelet on both sides and tie it if you wanted to. You can decorate it many ways, and then it just opens up to a hidden journaling spot, okay? The, what we're going to do, the way we're going to decorate our bag today, is... Okay, you're going to take the bag, sorry, I had to think for a minute. And we want it flat, just flat like this, okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut straight across where the bottom is, okay? simple easy peasy so what you have now is you have a little mini bag that opens up the same way but you have more room and surface to decorate on I'm going to move my camera oh I'm so sorry I'm going to move my camera a little bit to make you guys more in frame because I like to work back here there we go so what you have now is you have more area to decorate. It still opens up into a hidden tuck spot, just like the other one. You just have more area to decorate. So we're gonna decorate that today on camera with you guys. I decided to use this beautiful paper that I got gifted to me. And what I'm going to do is I could measure it and go cut it and make it fit perfectly, but to be honest with you, I don't really feel like doing that and I'm kind of in a hurry. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to glue this down and I want a little bit of my paper bag showing just to give it a little bit of dimension. I'm just going to cut my paper out around my bag. Try not to cut your bag or you'll have holes in it. We don't want that. Okay. That was easy enough. My craft area is such a mess, guys. I would be so ashamed if you guys were here and actually seen it. I mean, it is ridiculous mess. I was going to tell you right now, too, is if you're going to use this as a tuck spot, I like to glue this down to my page. I'll show you. And and glue instead of gluing the whole thing down I like to glue just like an L shape a backwards L shape so I can use it as a tuck spot also and if you're going to do that you're gonna to want to glue down the little areas in the back that like to pop up see of the bag see what I mean they like to pop up so I would suggest go oh whoa way too much glue whoa way way too much glue so I would suggest gluing those down now so whatever you tuck back there it doesn't get stuck or caught now I'm not going to decorate my bottles being silly I'm not going to decorate this a whole awful lot but I did have a few ideas what I was thinking about doing was laying this ruffle down 
and then putting this lace up on top of it. And you guys know what I did. Oh no. I was wanting to decorate my paper first so I could sew it and then glue it down. So I just took that off. Um, that's what I'm going to do real quick. You don't have to do that. You can decorate your paper while it's on the back. I don't want to do that because I want to sew my fabric together. But this is kind of the idea of what I had going on. And then putting this little button piece right there. It almost does not fit. But I thought it was just cute and dainty and easy. It's an easy look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and glue my fabric together. I'm just going to put some fabric tack down it. You guys can decorate yours however you want. You totally do not have to use fabric. I'm using fabric because I'm doing a, uh, a sewing junk journal. So I thought this would look cute in it. So I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'm going to go sew my two fabric pieces together and then I'm going to stuck to my table. I'm also going to glue it down to my paper and I'll be right back. So before I go I'll show you what I have. This is what I have so far. Super cute. And I'm just going to put the button right there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I have now. I need to cut all the strings off of it because I have them everywhere. That's the one thing I hate about sewing the most is all the strings that you gotta cut in the end. I'm not even in frame. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm extremely short, so I work best closest to the table, but my camera I can only position it so many ways or so far it falls off so this is what we have and I thought about maybe leaving that open as a cute little tuck spot on the side I haven't really decided yet that's an awful big tag to put there but um trying to decide if I want to leave that open or not I don't know I just know I want to glue these down so I'm going to glue it down And then we'll glue it down to the bag and I'll show you what we have. It's going to be super cute. Okay. So now it's ready to be glued down to the bag. And I probably should use a little bit of Fabri-Tac since I... I usually use Fabri-Tac if I have any type of uh, sewing that I do. Because the glue stick just doesn't want to catch the thread very well and then I just use my glue stick to spread the glue on I know that might be a no-no for some but that's what I do and it works for me so let me see if I can get this right so now I'm just gonna glue that down I'm gonna push it down real well So isn't that so cute and dainty and darling? So what we have now is let me get my junk journal that I'm working on. So what we have is if this was our page or junk journal page, it would go like right there. And it would open up. You'd glue it down. It would open up into a bag and you could put some stuff down inside of it. And then it would fold back down. And... You can also make it where it's a tuck spot if you just run a bead of glue along here and here. Hold it down. And this is actually the page that I'm going to put it on. Um, so I don't see why we can't just go ahead and sew it down now. I might put some 
lace across the side. I haven't really decided yet. Let's see. Oh, I think that's so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating this page on camera real quick since the video is not very long. You can stop watching now if you would like. I probably should have measured and cut that lace first. Oh, well. Okay. And I'm going to glue it down like a pocket. So I'm just going to put a bead of glue there and across the bottom. Give that a second to adhere and dry. And I'll show you what we got. So what we have is we have this bag that opens up. How cute is that? And then we have a tuck spot behind it once it's glued down where you can tuck some stuff behind it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's a very simple. Uh, make sure your bag doesn't glue down on that side though. But it's a very, very simple pocket. And like I said, you could do it this way also. I just decided not to because it was going to be so hard to decorate that small little area. I just thought that the way that I did it this way was a little bit more uh, convenient and easier to do. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day.